Do you want to generate a signal on two meters, say for a CW or simple double sideband transmitter? Well, you can, even without buying a specialized crystal. Most CW activity is just above 144 megahertz. Crystals for frequencies like 12 and 16 megahertz are available cheaply. If you multiply that by 12 or 9 respectively, then you come up at 144 megahertz. The higher the frequency the better because there's less multiplier stages which makes construction simpler and also less chance of spurious signals. This crystal oscillator uses a 16 megahertz crystal. In series with it is a 15 picofarad capacitor. The significance of that is the capacitor value is low. That means the crystal will likely oscillate above its marked frequency. It might only be a few kilohertz, but when you multiply that by 9, the difference becomes quite significant at 144 megahertz. With the 15 picofarad series capacitor, the output is comfortably above 16 megahertz. Go up to 2 meters. And we're comfortably within the 2 meter band. 144.036 Yes there's a bit of chirp, but this is the worst case. If I was to put the oscillator in a box, have a buffer stage, and most importantly key a subsequent stage rather than the oscillator, then it would sound just fine. What if you wanted to go higher? For instance, if you wanted something for the SSB end of 2 meters. Frequencies vary slightly by country, but here in Australia, 144.1, 144.15, and 144.2 are popular SSB frequencies. Ideally, you'd want to get the oscillator operating all the way up at 144.2, and be able to increase the series capacitance to get a VXO and pull it down to 144.1. Then you'd be frequency agile over the most important frequencies used by SSB operators. Well, I broke it. As you can see, a 16 MHz crystal is thinner and more delicate than one for a lower frequency. If something's just in the band, it might be better to leave it there rather than to try and get it on an optimum frequency. Sometimes it's better just to leave things be if they're working than to try and experiment and make them better. However, that's not how progress is achieved. After all, you have to break eggs to make an omelette.